should I ask you guys? <laughs> Whatever you want. Just we'll, you know, see just how it flows. With, just yeah. see, see how it flows? Yeah. No biases? We're just, we're just trying to be no. funnier than uh, Craig from Craigslist. That's we're all we're trying. We're trying to be funnier from Craig from Craigslist. That's, that's our it's whole goal be, for this interview. It's going to be tough. It's to be yeah. funnier than Craigslist. He's got a whole misconnection section to oh, yeah, that, from. That is yeah. gold. So when Totally encounters. Biased yeah. hits FX, May 9th, 11 p.m. Returns to FX. Returns to FX, yes. What what are we going to expect? More satire and insight and outrage and, um, and and dancing and dancing. We've had some good luck with some dancing, so yeah, we might, yeah. Yeah. What kind of dancing? Uh, Can we get a little preview? Not from us. Oh, maybe from him. <laughs> this guy. Yeah, a Harlem Shake like. Yeah. Harlem Shake like. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So how has it been working with Chris Rock? Hectic. <laughs> <laughs> Loud. Yeah. Yeah. Fun. Oh, a lot of, a lot fun. of fun. Yeah, he's a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, yeah. A, he's, a, he's a good guy, and he's a hands-on producer, so he has a lot of good ideas, and then he has some ideas where people tell him, hey, why don't you shut up? <laughs> <laughs> you know, so. Yeah, he, he comes in, he pitches jokes, he puts ideas out, we we take the ones we like, and yeah, he's he's he, he, he likes to be around the show. He's he, loves, yeah. he likes being a part of the process. He's invested in what we do he's and likes invested. what we do, so he wants to be a part of it, Absolutely. which is amazing. Yeah. Right, so and the good thing is he has things to bring to it of value. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not like somebody who's invested, but it's like, man, you know what? You would do better to just leave the room. <laughs> you know, and and talking about doing better, what were some lessons that you've learned from last season that you've now applied? That's you know you're applying to this return. Um, not to speak for W. Kamau Bell, the star of Totally Biased with W. Kamau Bell Thursdays at 11 on FX, but I think that Kamau has as he's grown into the role to assert his own voice. More, I mean, it was his own voice and vision to get the show in the first place, but to sometimes stand up to Chris, who is great, but can be a bit bombastic at times. And because he has his stature, it can be intimidating. But as Kamal has grown and got more confidence, he's learned to say, hey man, that's a good idea. That's not a good idea. Or that's a good idea for you, you know and you know be able to just be more assertive and I think I've noticed the big thing that we've learned is I think you know for the first show when in the beginning we were like every story we were like we gotta find the funny right away and now we've kind of learned to trust ourselves and sit with the story for as long as it takes for us to get our point of view first and like figure out what we think about it because I think it took us a little while to be like oh yeah we're comedians we've been doing this for a while we're gonna yeah. come up with the funny first let's figure out what we want, like, what the message we want behind this to be, because I think for all of us, especially Kamal, uh, we want to be able to stand behind the jokes that we make, and so we've really kind of learned to just trust that our comedic voice will follow that point of view to make something really unique and different and important. How did the three of you come together? I've known Kamal for since... I think we have like a three generation comedy. It's like yeah. grandpa, dad, yeah, yeah. kid. Yeah, like exactly. Yeah, yeah. Twain. Or how about kid, <laughs> teenager, infant? <laughs> <laughs> Just, you know what I mean? Who's my demographic? I know, you're cool with great grandpa? You that. How about dead man, person who's alive no. and sorry, newborn? Mr. Magoo with your glasses. I'm sorry that I inferred grandpa. I, think, like, I don't know where that came You know how sometimes from. they find like a, ca a caveman frozen in ice? It's like caveman frozen in ice, modern man. Uh, next evolutionary step. That's what's happening. It's right, like the, right, right. It's like the, it's right. like the evolution chart. Right, right. But yeah, it's we like all kind plankton, of uh, <laughs> fish who just came out on the sand, and upright walking human beings. Well, if this is at all a preview of the kind of funny that I'm going to see, then I'm really much looking forward to. It's May 9th, May 9th. 11 p.m., totally biased. Check it out. And for more interviews, you can visit genconnect.com.